everybody, this is Shonda here at Shonda's Graphics. What I got to say is I'm going to talk about disappointment and forgiveness and, you know, making peace, you know, on how to do all that, you know, what you should do, you should not do, you know what I mean? Well, let's see here, what do I have to say for all this, you know, you see, well, on the peace, we learn from our mistakes, people. And people, we need to face the truth out there. I know the truth does hurt. But um, here's what I would do for an example. If, say, like, if someone asks me, Hey, Shonda, what do you think of my dress? I really love it, you know? And that person says she really loves it. And, they, and I hear him. I'm shunned. And I'm saying, say like I really don't like it. This is what I exactly would say. I mean, um, I don't tell the person, hey, I just like that dress. I just say it's unique, but I wouldn't want to wear, wear that kind of dress. But I'm glad you like the dress. It's just, just be honest. You don't have to say, ew, that dress looks ugly. Don't be rude. Just say that you're not interested in wearing that type of a clothing. That's all you have to do is say that. You know, is just be honest. Don't lie. And don't make lies to get somebody in trouble, you know. Just because you're not happy with yourself, you gotta go make somebody else's life a living freaking hell. You gotta be ashamed of yourself for that. I'm not kidding. I'm talking about myself too as well. Not just you. I'm talking about everybody, including myself, you know. But like I say, why do people accuse people? Because they're not happy with themselves. Um, I learned this from my father. I don't believe in the hearsay. Do you know what I mean by hearsay? It's just like, she said, he should. See, she, he, she, whatever you want to call it. He said, she said stuff. I don't believe in it either unless I really see for myself. I do listen to the person honestly and um if and only if if they are telling the truth and i see it for myself yeah all right i know i'm in a white background let's see let's change this up to a darker area mm, let's see all right i'll change it to that and i uh, will change this to something else but I will get back on the topics right in a minute. Right in a minute. Splat! Right in your face. Right. <laughs> yeah. Splat. Yeah. Splat. You can call it splash, splat, however you want to call it. Ink blots, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let me do this. Okay, let me go do this, and then I'll go back to where I was at. There we go. All right. Let's see. Um, like I was saying, you know. Uh, let's see. But you know. It really is when you're um, saying that people should, you know, learn from their own mistakes. Yes, we should learn from our own mistakes and uh, face the truth, you know, even though the truth may hurt, like I said before, you know, and stop blaming others, playing the victim, you know, stop being the victim, stop being a crybaby out there. Oh, I'm not the victim. Oh, I don't claim to. I don't claim to be the victim here at all. I mean, people just claim, saying I'm not the victim. The ones that are whining out there, they're complaining and being, you know, like they're not the victim when they are the freaking victim, and they want to blame somebody else, and they can't, don't even have the nerve to call the freaking name out. But no, they want to uh play the victim themselves. Like, I'm happy with life, you know? How can you be happy alive 
if you're not happy with yourself making other people's lives miserable? How is that making your life happy when you're making other people's lives miserable? You know, with a lie. You think a lie is going to get you anywhere? A lie will get you in trouble the longer you wait. But you know, it's never too late to tell the truth, but the longer you wait. Be the wrong time, the wrong place, the wrong person, but it's always best to tell the truth. Why hold in a lie? And lying, you're not only lying to them. Hell, it's to the point where you're believing your own lies. And people, you have to stay away from people that believe in their own lies. I'm not going to say that they hate themselves at all. I'm just going to say that they're not happy with themselves. They want to manipulate others and blame others for their, you know, actions. Because actions do speak louder than words, don't they? Or am I just making this stuff up here? I wouldn't be talking about this today at all if, uh, you know, I'm just trying to say something here. Like, um, you know, it's just like this. Instead, people should be responsible for their own actions. It's like I said, actions speak louder than words. They should admit to the mistakes, you know, and work towards making things right. Do the right thing and tell the truth. Stop blaming others. Find peace. You know, if you want to make that peace. Because it's time to break free from the cycle of denial. By, you know, blaming and shifting. Even though, yes, it, yes, it is a hurtful behavior. By facing, we got to face our mistakes and weaknesses. And we can, so we can begin to heal and grow and develop empathy for others remember the truth yes I said before it may hurt but it's also liberating let's choose courage over comfort you know accountability over excuses and healing over hurt only then we can find true peace and move forward with integrity you know I'm just saying, man, it's just, ugh. Okay. Disappointment here. People get disappointed by others. But some people do get disappointed because, like I said, they're not happy with themselves. They want to blame others for the disappointment when they shouldn't even let disappointment get in the way. You know what I mean? Why? Why use the word disappointment out there? when you're not even happy with yourself right now. You know what I mean? It's just like, uh, here we go. With, you know, disappointment, it's a natural emotion that we all experience at some point in our lives, you know? However, we let disappointment consume us. It can lead to negative, yes, and patterns of our behavior. Um, it's just like uh, one of the most harmful things we can do when feeling disappointed is to blame others for our circumstances. This uh, not only shifts the responsibility away from ourselves, but also prevents us from learning and growing from the experience. You know, like I said, blaming others for our disappointment can also lead to resentment and, you know, what's that one word that we always get really mad? And anger, you know, anger. When we focus on what others have done wrong, we neglect to examine our own actions and decisions, and we may have contributed to the situation by taking ownership of our mistakes. We can begin to heal and move forward from all of this, you know. But it's up to you and everyone else out there to do all this. You got to work together. Yes. It really is hard. Uh, it really is hard. But people have to work together. Um, yes. But you got to remember. All of us do. Disappointment is, you know, often result 
unmet expectation, but it's up to us to reevaluate those expectations and learn from the experience. You know, it's just like um, we. Uh, furthermore, we're blaming others uh, because they can damage relationships and prevent us from finding closure. Yes, people do. Uh, Disappointment. Yeah, it can lead to friends break, breaking up, um, husband and wife breaking up, for no apparently reason because somebody is just is not happy with themselves. This follows under of that, like tell, not telling the truth. This follows of lying and all that. And this is what gets really people in trouble. Well, you know, when we accuse others of causing our disappointment, we create a defensive atmosphere, making it challenging to resolve issues and find common ground. Instead, we should focus on understanding the situation, our role in it, and how we can improve moving forward from all this. I'd rather move forward. I'd rather take two steps forward and two steps back on and fall down. You know, like, whoa, I'm going to fall down. But now, got to make that choice yourself. You know, oh, man, it's just, I, I got really something to say at the end here. You know, you really get through this whole thing. It's just like, um, well, we have to, with our emotions, with our and negative emotions with, that are associated with the experience of it, but, you know, that's, you know, you know, when we're really disappointed, but yeah, now I'm moving on to forgiveness, because that's what I was talking about right here, okay, you know, on the other hand, yes, you know, forgiveness, it's a powerful tool for healing and growth, however, forgiveness doesn't mean ignoring or downplaying our mistakes, or the harm caused by others. Rather, it involves acknowledging the wrongdoing, taking responsibility for our actions. You know, when we choose to release negative emotions associated with the experience, like I said, a while ago about, you know, experience. Yeah, it's like taking negative actions like from your disappointment, but yeah, right here is, uh, when we forgive ourselves and others, we create space for healing, learning, and positive change. Like, you know, we're learning, and we got to have the positive feeling about the change, what's going on. Forgiveness allows us to reevacuate our actions, making amends, you know, when, when possible, and when developed empathy for those involved by forgiving. We're not excusing wrongdoing but rather choosing to move forward with wisdom and compassion yeah let's see yeah moreover you know forgiveness is not one time event um, but continuous process as we navigate life challenges we encounter situations that require forgiveness you know, of ourselves and others by cultivating and, you know, forgiving mindset, we can develop the silence, you know, read silence to, you know, improve relationships and find peace in the face of adversity. Yeah, we have to do that. But ultimately, disappointment and forgiveness, what I just talked about, I'm putting these two together. Disappointment and forgiveness are closely, you know, tied. You know, when we learn to forgive ourselves and others for mistakes and shortcomings, we can begin to heal from disappointment and find closure by taking responsibility for our actions. Acknowledging wrongdoing and choosing forgiveness, we can break free from negative patterns and cultivate a more positive growth orientated mindset in conclusion remember that disappointment is an opportunity 
for growth and forgiveness, you know, is another way around it. But yeah, forgive others. I know it's hard to forgive. I know it's hard to forget what someone has done. But I can understand if you forgive somebody what they did. But I can understand if they don't forgive you right back. What's the point of trying to have that friendship at all? Don't make it, don't make the matters worse. Um, you know, don't tell them this, you know, to say you don't want to talk about it. If you feel uncomfortable talking about something or being friends with somebody, then don't be friends with them. Why should you? But yeah, it's just like I said, there's people that do things like, it doesn't matter if it's offline or in reality. Offline reality, online internet, it doesn't really matter if it's online or offline. You got people that will copy people's ideas. Now, I can understand copying somebody's idea, but why copy somebody's idea if you can't give them freaking credit? Like I say, if you copy somebody's idea and you're on YouTube or you're in the offline, give credit where credit is due. But if you can't, why don't you create something new and do your own damn thing? Stop copying off of others. And then finding other stuff online and claiming it as your own. If you claim it as your own, how come uh, we can't put the copyright symbol on it, right? If you think something is really yours, I quadruple doll dare you to put a copyright symbol on it. Put a copyright symbol on it. Go ahead. See what happens. I'm telling you, there are people out there and they see you, their work with the copyright symbol, you will be sued. But you know, in life, I hate the word. I hate the freaking word. I don't even like seeing a money bag. I hate the word money. I really do hate the word money. But that's all you uh, people think about these days, the ones that talk about money. But yeah, what good? Where does it get you? It gets you greedy. You know what I mean? Greedy. Why do people got to be so damn greedy? They choose like money over their friendship. You know, like I say this, uh, I'm not kidding. It's just like, uh, uh, yeah, I can hear you too. Ding, ding, ding. Why do you think I always put things like on do not disturb? And that's why I muted my tab, so I can do this and say this. But yeah. But yeah, forgive each other if you can. Just do the best that you can. Be honest with each other. Don't live out a lie and believe your own lie. You, you gotta be very careful, people. They don't wanna tell the truth and you know they're lying. And you got proof that they're lying, stay away from them. I'm not going to say that these kind of people hate people or anything. They just don't. They're just not happy with themselves. That's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah. Well, y'all have a good day. Y'all take care and be safe and well. Tell each other you love each other and say, I love you. You know? Bye, everybody. And take care. Thank you. I love you. Peace.